All right. We are getting right into it. So, Hoodless Weekly. Here I am playing against playing Falco. And he's playing Hitomi, which I've never seen him play. I can only play him like once or twice ever. Uh, I had nine matches to warm up prior to this. Uh, it seemed to work out because my brain was thinking how to, uh, you know, it was pretty reactionary. It was, it's pretty good. I thought I was going to do really, really bad, but there I got punished there. I was really stoked, you know, still trying to knock the nerves off. You see, he does too. Uh, Flame Falco does a really, really good job of stopping my wake up the entire time. Felt pretty good getting that. Definitely a good back and forth. I didn't punish. I do miss quite a few punishes. I won't deny that, uh, that I ignore a lot of punishes when I'm playing. Uh, too focused, I guess you could say. Here I am. Uh, I did notice that he just let me hit his toes constantly. So you will see every time I play him. Uh, that I will wear it out far more than I should. Uh, like, I wouldn't do it on other players, but he just lets it happen. So it worked out in my favor. I did not hit. I was really sad. I'm used to five a lot. And Hoodless, I think, even said something. That was really good. Oh, my gosh. The media on that. So devastating. So, in this, I'm just not worried about win or lose or what's going to happen. I only care about uh, just playing, playing what's in front of me. Uh, I've been working a lot on every matchup. Hitomi is definitely on the list because I have such a hard time against that boot style. Uh, that was a slow punish, but whatever. Ah, so sad he countered that. I was going to try to get some mix in, but it followed what already was and the string, and sometimes you just get caught by that. This is what it is. So we grabbed up the first one pretty convincingly. I'm going to keep trying to test here and try to get my reflexes up on Hitomi. I've worked on this a lot, and you will see it will pay off. Spoilers. Very nice pressure. Bring it down, get some mix action. Really, my mix game isn't uh, that great with throw resets, and that's something that Hovis also had kind of talked about, which I do agree. See a nice pressure. It's trying to pull him off me. Oh, yeah. I definitely wasn't feeling bad by any stretch of the imagination. I don't know why I did that one. I just got to keep changing it up. Maybe because he just didn't do it last time. That kind of sucked. That was early. I thought he was going to blitz me again. You tell me it's kind of do that. I do when I play. Tell me, but that ain't everyone. Very nice mid covering options. Just didn't want to get thrown. That was pretty awesome getting that. You definitely tell anytime I do something like that, I'm feeling pretty good. Working in, he's definitely pushing me back. He's getting the wall lot. It's like no, no, no. That was a really good reaction. I really don't tend to get that. But it's working. That was good back and forth exchange. I didn't even mean to do that. I got to fix my bumpers too because they keep sticking. And it made me drop a combo. A uh, really important combo in this set. Or not in this set. It was a different one. But a lot of things happened. Ooh, uh, the high crush. I was so stoked. I was hoping I get the wall splat. Definitely calling out when he's trying to get his, uh, trying to change his mixes. Boom. Oh, I did punish. Drives me crazy. But that's all right. I really, the missing of the punishes makes the set a lot harder than it need to be. Because, uh, like, not hating on Falgo. It's just, uh, I can't say that he's a Italian player. I don't know how much he's put. But, you know, I'm just missing a lot of very simple finishing string stuff. Yep, that was really good to play. 
Yep, he knows about the camera changing. Uh, if you're having trouble, the uh, handstand just go around because his best option is only that mid kick. There, he doesn't have anything besides doing the uh, the high, which no matter what, you will be out whatever's going on. And sometimes when they're trying to change the camera angle, it's why it's hard to make that decision because you hit do H plus K. Sometimes you get them. It's how I got the sweeps. I was going to do all three sweeps. No matter what. It did not matter to me. So we're at 1-1. One, one. It's definitely a good back and forth. It's been, a, it's been really fun, too. Oh, that was good. You want to have that. I think it uh, lagged, and I definitely made my input slow on purpose. Uh, even though I play with mostly still stagger scape uh, I tend to have some of the habits of making people miss the throw very nice some of that stuff I'm a little disappointed I'm getting hit by but uh, I'm still working on that as a player I like that mix up a lot but there's just too much going on he didn't fall for it just whatsoever and he made me pay for it there's no reason to duck there just do the action if it's not going to be a low yeah, boom. Though I was looking for the lows quite a bit, and he didn't throw them out until I stopped looking for them. In fact, uh, in, I think it's the next match where he really has yeah, really good pressure. I was just getting scared. He just lays it on me. Nope. As you can tell, it was a good mix-up, but I missed the punish. To begin with, yep, that was good. It's actually a really good mix up. Sometimes it staggers uh, with Hitomi, he should just keep going. I'm not stomping him. I guess because I'm countering him enough, it's enough to make him scared. As you can tell, trying to get the whip punish. Got a lot of action going on in the outside world today. Right. Oh, no punish again. You see what I'm saying? I mean, this is that's crazy. Would have had to lead without all this. Now trying to get a thousand mixes. I caught that. I was super stoked about that. I was ready, but he ducked. He knew because I got him once another time like that. So it's 2-1 in Falco's favor. And then he does something really weird. I just wanted to get some time, character select screen. I do this all the time. I just need that time. I was thinking about alts. I was a little frustrated. Uh, and then he goes Hayabusa. So, Hoodless. Uh, I think I do appreciate that he made that call. He, uh, Punishes him for it and gives me a freaking game. So let's get to where we're playing. All right. We're in the round. So he gives me a game. So I know I got to win. So I can't mess up. I was like, hell yeah, I got my black garb on. It's happening. And then he starts mixing it up really, really, really well. And then I'm trying to punish things that aren't punishable, and I know it because I was getting them. I love that move. I finally put it in my game. So happy. So frustrating that uh, I needed. Yeah, I know I hit check, but what I didn't do was make sure it was counter hit. Nice. No punish. Drives me nuts. All right. Just keep working on it. Ba boom, ba boom. You gotta love the Brad. The Brad damage dance. Oh, I got that medium so good. I thought I was past this window too. I knew. I knew it didn't matter. As long as I didn't let him get a wall smash, I wasn't gonna die. Cause I knew he wasn't gonna throw. Cause I think he does a really good job of not throwing a whole lot. So when he throws, I'm not ready. Which you'll see later on the set too. I'm already up two two rounds. I'm, I'm like, wow, I'm I'm already just gonna convincingly get this. 
but he doesn't let it go that easily. Falco definitely shows uh, that he he's in it. I try to wall escape away, but I had no life. I tried to counter that second poke because I figured he'd do it when it didn't kill me. But that's all right. So we're here. He doesn't really counter the low, which is why some of the stuff I'm doing doesn't make sense. It's one of those things where sometimes I'm just frustrated because I want to mix it up more, but you got to play what's going on on the screen, and I do have problems with that as a player. I love that move. I love that move. Okay, no meaty. He does a really good job of paying attention to the hit check. He finishes the string, and see, he got me. So it's 2-2. I have no meter. I got punished for it. I was like, oh, God. But I had this weird feeling that no matter what, I wasn't going to lose. I wasn't going to let myself lose. I was such good. I just knew for some reason I'm going to go high. I don't know why. Got a nice mix. Got the pressure. Didn't get the meaty. At the one time I was looking, not looking for it, he got that on me. I was like, man, that was so good. Got that pop here. I knew he probably blocked. That was so lucky. And here, for some reason, I just knew... He was going to try to get that mid-punch, and I got it. So I was so stoked. Hooray, Brad. Brad wins. Da, 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 da. So we need to find the next matches. What's that? Is that the... Yeah. So keep on trucking, I believe. All right. So I've been looking forward to this match. I didn't get to play him the last time. The PC Hoodless Weekly was. So I was mad stoked. I finally get to play me and the legend. Because he's really good Neo Tengu. I love Neo Tengu. I knew it was just going to be a blast no matter what. And he didn't disappoint. He or she did not disappoint. Uh, of course, on Hoodless' side, it lags as it catches up. But that's okay. That's a streaming thing. The slower computers anyway. Uh, boom. All right. So here we go. So when I fought this match, you know what I noticed? Me and the legend is either scared of Brad Wong or he doesn't know Brad Wong that well. Because I kept testing him, doing Brad checks. And at, the reason why I was so dominant at first is because he wasn't ready. I think me and me Legend will be ready for me next time. But I felt when I played him, the mistake I made is I changed my gameplay from what was working to what I wanted to work after, like I needed to mix it up. And that was not, that's how me and Mo wanted me to play, how I changed, where I wasn't trying to get the strikes out and totally punished the hell out of me for it. Because it should have been. Uh, I believe in like a three to one ratio strikes to throw, give or take, depending on how people react. And in this regard, even four to one would have been totally fine. You see here, he mad punch. I love this dance. Ha <laughs> ha. That's super good damage. Uh, but see, I'm just not, I'm just not afraid. He kept messing. I don't know why he kept doing that one specifically instead of the mid punch. Uh, I'm just mad when I miss some of that stuff, but it is what it is. Yeah, he did get that. And that's what I was doing. I was testing everything. What are you doing? How are you going to react? See, I'm poking in and out of the range. She's got good range, but she is so punishable. And that was one of the things that I was testing. See, I did, I did throw. What did he do? He tried to hit me. So I knew all I had to do, ah, I knew to do the other combo, but it's just one of those things where, okay, I kept noticing he was doing that a ton. Ooh. Got him. That definitely was like my big tournament was helping me through everything. It's really good. He was trying to check to see what I do when I was laying on the ground. Though it's definitely better just to not let me do my shenanigans. See, he gets the throw there. 
And for some reason, he does that a couple times too. I don't know if they're misinputs or what was going on, but it was real weird. It kept happening. Ah, such a good mix up. I wasn't ready for that like at all. But that game right there told me one really, really important thing. He didn't know certain things like in the Brad matchup. I could tell. He wasn't comfortable, and that's everything I need to be able to play my confident Brad self. And then I didn't punch that. I was like, really? What kind of a crazy person lets Neo Tang get away with that? See, I was testing. It wasn't countering. Kept doing that, missing. I didn't punish the whiff. I did it again. I was so frustrated because I knew that was what was coming. In fact, I've been watching so many of the hoodless spots that I kind of know, understand some of Miyama's, uh habits and i was trying to use it wait for this exact moment to beat him so of course you know the reality versus theory is a whole different thing he is a good player and i was excited i was very happy good player uh definitely very good with neo tengu i'm a huge fan of neo tengu as well so boom get that leg give me that turkey leg girl I couldn't get the punish on for that reason. Not really sure why. I got a lot of other times. So, won that third leg, but it didn't didn't happen. Sad. Got a nice little starting combo. Just trying different stuff. I did. There are some things with Neo Tengu that I still need to work on defensively. I I just fail to react properly. Uh, especially with her like mid punches and stuff. I don't know why I let her get away with some of the things I do. Like I didn't, I just let her have that stance, easy kill. She looks cool in the background. He didn't punish me. See, it's stuff like that where I go, Oh no, I got, see my button got stuck here. I'm super frustrated because it wouldn't come out fast enough. It actually would have hit if, uh, and I did the wrong kick here. I was like, you're kidding me. All that damage I just lost. You gotta be kidding me. Am I really gonna? I didn't want to get 3 0'd by Mima. I wanted to uh, make sure I got a nice little mix up on him. Yep, see, when I'm hitting him, I'm winning because I'm mixing Mima. I'm making Mima uncomfortable. I knew they're negative. See, see that stuttering? That's how I knew that. They were not comfortable in the matchup. I made sure I did the correct combo here. Made sure that I smashed the hell out of that button. I went ahead and burned my meter because I had such a huge lead. I just had to make sure that the combo wasn't too ridiculous. And there was nothing around uh, that was going to get me there. I did mess, mess up and not get that. Good for him for always checking that. I got that. I was like, oh, it's on. It's juicy. This is it. I knew he had a meter, but I knew I just had to poke through if he messed up uh, the string. And he sure enough, he did. He uh, didn't mess it up. He just uh, spaced it. Delayed. He overly delayed. So, man, I feel good. I got my first game ever. I mean, a legend. No punish. So frustrating. So I'm thinking, okay, okay. Miyama, uh, uh, I also noticed Miyama turns it up every time that they lose. They do, way, they play way more aggressively every time they ever lose. I mean, it's just plain and simple. They do. I knew they'd miss. I was really hoping they were going to do it again, but they didn't. I really like the patience. I was like, oh, I haven't done that all for game. Boom. Got you again. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. And no meter. A great on Mima. Get out of town. I felt so good at that point. I thought for sure that that would be how I won this match. Uh, because I had the momentum. Like stuff like that. I was like, oh, I'm getting away with murder now. I'm, I'm getting away with things I shouldn't. And then... I changed the way I played right there. That is the exact moment where I stopped being aggressive and I started going for grabs. I know I countered that really well, but you see, 
I'm not counter poking. It's all right with the meter and everything. I'm gonna. I thought this was cool. I died to this. I was blown away by. It. I was like, oh my god, I did so much damage. I wasn't ready. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Finally got the punish. Very nice. You pay attention that time. The way that me and my, um, I was super stubborn here. He kissed me three times. So, uh, definitely, uh, ooh, see that meaty? I was getting some mad meaties in this, in this set. Really, in this tournament, I was doing really, really well as far as uh, getting those. I've been working on them a lot. I've been really trying to get that consistent. Very nice. I wasn't expecting the OH. That was a very, very nice way. Not use it for like three straight games and then clutch out a game. Fantastic. I thought about mirroring them, mirroring with the uh, Neo Tengu. I really, really did because I play Neo Tengu. I'm not near as good, but it would have been fun. Uh, but I figured, you know what? The Brad's been doing some some work. I'm too afraid in tournaments still to change characters. I won't lie to you. I feel like uh, anytime I have, uh, I feel like you just, I just have to do it. Whoever I'm feeling, I just have to do it. Here, I was like, oh, man, what a sequence. I can't believe that's how I knew. I knew when I'm getting things like that, that's not a normal thing that players should allow. Uh, no offense. It's just not. If you know Neo, uh, Brad, usually you would just get away with it. But I think Mamo was thinking that I was going to play uh, more, less corny like that. I cannot believe he pressed the button after that. I should have just thrown the launcher out there. But how was I supposed to know? But, yep. Because playing Goofy against a good player actually tends to work. I couldn't believe I thought I had that in the back, too. Yeah. So I threw out the mid punch because I didn't get the kill. I thought that was pretty funny. I deserve that. The hill, I didn't pay attention. On this stage, I miss combos so often. I just don't pay attention to the sand hill because you can't see it. It is, I don't want to say it's a terrible design, but I'm not exactly agreeable. It, it's just something to pay attention. I love that I paid attention, got the headbutt when I knew he'd wake up. Very stoked. No punish there. Uh, so I was, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I can, I can win. I think if I, I can win against Mima. He messed up there again. He was making a lot of mistakes. I think this would have been my time to shine because it didn't look like Mima was a hundred percent. I don't know why. I don't really care why. All that mattered to me was that, hey man, I can do this. Ah, I got clipped. Yeah, that's game. Well, two rounds. But yeah, I was like, oh crap. Am I really going to let this go after all this? I did try something different. But I did like that he punished. Alright, so I got the back throw. I just don't tend to use it. I don't like using it for Oki, but uh, Hoodless made a good point. I should definitely be using it. I just don't. So... I'll be looking to put it in my game. I was like the one. I only did the back throw one time. I just tend to forward throw as my standard punish. Very nice. Did it again. I just at that point I was overwhelmed. I was in the corner. I was just scared. I was worried about too many things in one moment. So very nice for me and to close it out. Being a champion, it was nice to see, uh, you know, when it clicked, it clicked kind of deal. So, Miyama did awesome, I think. Did I play right away? No, I did not. Uh, ding, 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 ding. Memphis Legends does valiant effort, but uh, the Kula Mary Rose human wins. Let's see. All right, so versus Hyde. So Hyde is Hyde, and may have already played once before. Now I know Hyde uh, doesn't feel it doesn't feel when I play them that they're very comfortable in the matchup against me, which I totally use to my advantage. But I will say uh, that I think uh, that Hyde just thinks too much because there are sequences like this where Hyde does awesome, and you would really. Think, because uh, 
the Ayane tends to beat Brad, at least in my opinion. I've been working on that matchup a lot too because I've lost to so many Ayanes in the past. That was awesome, very nice. Punish. Sometimes the setup just doesn't work. But I don't think Hyde looks at my. Uh, ooh, oh, you see that? I just made a combo up on the spot. Um, sometimes Hyde's not looking at what I'm doing or trying not to do. And I think that costs him a lot. Look at that. Look at that mix. It was freaking awesome. But then he messed up his combo. Um. I don't know if it's just because he's been playing other characters and been messing them up, but you can tell I'm when I'm in the lead that much, I can do such goofy things. I, I could have killed him, but I didn't. And then panic option. Anybody would do that in that situation. It's just really bad. Let it be in that downhill. It's tough, man. So I win the first one pretty convincingly. Uh, I will say that highest high does, uh, Absolute, their uh, best that I fought him in a long time on the third match that we play, without a doubt. That was really good. Got the first exchange, hell yeah. Got the down, down hit too. I got the tech up. Painful. I'm just trying to keep testing him, see what he knows, see if he got better. That was so good. I can't believe he beat that. So, see, I mean, you see, he's going through the sequence that isn't actually punishable. He could have uh, punished me for trying to punish it. Uh, based on the distance, and then I guessed right on him uh, doing the sweep anyway. I was like, no, nah, he's going to do it. He does a lot of unsafe options on round start two, which uh, you should probably just like try to stop. Not. Baby, I'm making a video. So here, I'm still getting my pressure. I'm just doing my normal Brad thing. Uh, I'm sure that Hyde will, if I keep showing up tournaments, that he'll have to figure out the matchup. I mean, it just is what it is. Very nice counter. Of course, I don't know what Ayana can get off her normal and when they advance one, so I don't really know what she can get off that. I think it's just frame advantage. So here, you can tell. Yep, that's a really good response. But for some reason, I tend to outrange him even though he's playing Ayane. And again, I really think it's just because he's not paying attention to what I'm doing. And I try to get some burst damage and surprise approach. I think uh, the other thing is every time I f frustrate Hyde uh, by winning an exchange, like a neutral exchange, the next time I knew they were going to swing sooner or do something more brazen, and it always ended up going in my favor. So here, you can tell I'm, I'm pretty confident. I won't lie to you. Pretty confident. I'm up two games. But Hyde's not out. And Hyde proves it. Hyde does very, very well. Uh, I couldn't get, I didn't get the punish on that. I mean, I'm just throwing out stuff because I know. I mean, I'm up so far. Who cares if I get it or not? And I'm like finishing my strings or nothing. Very nice throw. I mean, you can definitely tell. I'm just doing stuff, doing stuff, doing stuff. And then Hyde awakens. Pretty sure it's this round where he starts getting. So there you go. He spaces properly. There's no reason to be there. Just stay out of that range. Ayane can punish me all day. Very nice neutral punish. Boom. Look at that mix. He'd been doing that all day, but because he caught me off guard, that mix up worked that time. And that's part of it. See that nice mix? Now, there is a high after that one anyway, but because it's a uh, it's a good mix-up uh, because of the delay, stopping and then having to do the launcher, it was awesome. So, Hyde won that round. And you tell, yep, he's watching more what I'm doing. He punishes. He changes up and he punishes. Yeah, he's, you're, you're still doing Ayane stuff. Stay away from me. You have the, you know, you're in a comfortable place. Make me approach you, too. Now that I have the meter lead, you have to come to me. And that's where uh, it kind of falls apart. But, oh, I didn't punish there. I don't know why I did a break blow to start. I think it was an accident. No punish there. It was so goofy. I don't know why I do some of the stuff I do. Punish here? Yep. But not a big punish. I just keep to my seven frame punish because uh, I'm always too afraid. 
that I'm just going to mess it up. So here I try to mix it up. And it actually costs me a lot of damage. Very nice. Realizing I'm frozen. He runs up, which was a little weird. But nice counter. So, he cleaned up. That was two. Easily could be his game. Easily. Hyde's game. You see there, though, he didn't step back away. Where's your four punch plus kick? I mean, kick plus H. Where's, uh, you know, why not wait till I whiff? I'm going to throw out buttons way more. That was a good mix-up, but I ended up knowing about the uh, interruption here. I just clip, I just keep clicking damage, and then the run-up by break blow, I, I just don't recommend it. It just gets beat out by a lot of stuff. I know that's a thing, but in this case, it just... I was going to sweep the lows anyway because I didn't want him sidestepping. So if you think that I'm going to beat you in sidestep, because I do not like sidestep. All right, so there's he getting sidestep. All right, so Flame Falco in this set, he came all the way back. He brought it back from losers. He goes Hayabusa, and this was such a perfect pick. It was so very very awesome and you'll see why so here he goes mid hits off of my start constantly ruining my round start stuff I want so badly not to get uh, thrown uh, just blocking the match no punish that's painful so much damage very nice keep me on the wall got the back oh even with the mistake now, I know I can't throw there, but I don't care because sometimes when people, when they make mistakes, they, they just hold block. So that's why I was guessing. But what it did is it made me have really bad habits later on in the set. And that is why you have to pay more attention. That was good. Double mid kick. Got the, got the wall. And see here he does the reset. I know. I had a feeling he's going to do that. So much damage. He made me look like a fool. That was really good. I got a little bit of damage axe on him. I thought that would beat it. I was very wrong. Yep. He knew he had all the time in the world. So, no reason to use that high when I'm not in a block stun situation. It just isn't a good option. All right. Very nice. I mean, he, that was a full on reaction. I think he played so many good people. It definitely sharpened what he was already doing. And his Busa, I know he plays. I know he plays Busa uh, in Diego. So, here, I did get around, but uh, here you go. There again. So, not paying attention to the change of the hills. It cost me a huge, huge amount of uh, momentum. As well as damage. Very bummed out. Because boy he kept me trapped in this corner. And he used it to his advantage. Look at all that damage. Remember I have to have him not counter me whatsoever. And I didn't get to meet here. Yeah. I should have sidestepped. I know. But all around just really awesome. I wasn't reacting. So he's... Being the boost that he can be. We're at this stage again. Boy, this stage really cursed me. Today. Or that day, I guess. Very nice. I just didn't... I don't know why. I didn't think he wasn't going to crush me. I love that anti-air that I did on purpose. I thought it was so entertaining. I knew he was going to try to do that crap. Got a punish, finally. I had him in the wall and I went, darn it. If I had just thought about what he was going to do. So there, you saw a little more together, but then he kind of got broken out. I wanted to see if I could jump on the volleyball mat. I was like, yeah, it's a real wall. I didn't know, but now I do. So funny. I don't understand why you can't do the rope, but you can do a volleyball mat. Very In real life, you can bounce off of it too, so that's kind of neat. All right. Boom, boom, boom. I, I like the force tech because he just kept the uh, – I didn't punish. I was so frustrated. I just was letting him get all this pressure with Busa. Uh, this is definitely a matchup I still need to work on as a player because it, Hayabusa 
isn't even that oppressive, but he is in my head. Uh, very nice counter. Just paying attention to what I'm doing. So I got some damage. He didn't really punish me. So odd. I that was a good choice. I knew what his other choice would be, and I just went that was 50 50 option, really. So the mid punch into the the big throw. Alright. So I went a neutral exchange here. I was kind of bummed they did that. But I mean I'm still doing really good at keeping the damage. But boy, when he gets that knee on me, I uh shut down, especially with the camera angle change. Yep, scooping me up. Ooh, that's good. Got the 12 frame because I just want to show him, like, dude, I know you ain't got me. You ain't got me, but I'm not going to lie, he got me in this one. Yeah, we got the nice clip. See, I threw there again because he countered because he's still not doing what he's supposed to. So I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm paying attention to his habits, but I'm still getting beat out because I'm panicking in those moments. That was a good exchange. Definitely a good back and forth. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Got my damage. I'm like, oh, I'll win this round. Look at all this. Uh, I'm so good. You see that? Just the damage. I was so confident I was going to win that I did not care. I was running my sequence. It felt really good. I actually had forgotten that I won a game. Truly, I thought I'd lost 3-0. Three. Three here so pretty stoked to see that i was confident and that the sand stage wasn't my downfall firecrackers here this was definitely interesting boom i mean he does a really good job clipping me that circular boom yep very nice Oof. yeah just throwing shenanigans out isn't good i just got clips i didn't i did not move at all I'm so embarrassed by that. Very nice. I messed up so many times at that point. I just got clipped by that. Very nice. The pressure is definitely real. It's just letting it go. I love that high boost of pressure. It's so fun. And even though I know it, and I, I do it too when I play him, I just think it's funny. He is not. I don't think he clips me that one time because I'm Brad. I'm staying low, man. That's like not what you do against Brad. You just don't. Don't stay low. Stay mid. Mids are going to keep Brad from doing pretty much anything. Mids and lows. Very nice. I mean, you can tell he's really taking him away because I'm swinging and he's just blasting away at me. I'm not even paying attention to him. I didn't even grab him. I didn't do nothing. I wanted the firecrackers here. Just missed it. And then you saw a nice punish. I mean, he's paying attention. And then I accidentally did that that stupid uh, button thing where you switch between the uh, H button for block and the back. So he clipped me. I was like, darn it, man. Because I mean, any life, dude, you can come back in this game. This game is fantastic for that. All right. So I was like, crap. Should I switch characters? I was really thinking about it. I was like, no, just run through the brand, man. Brad has taken you so far today. He's doing this. He's doing his thing. You know, win or lose, it's worth it. So here we go. Got, got a little bit of breathing room. It's time. And we're in sweat, which is not exactly my favorite stage anymore. But trying, trying some different mix-ups. I messed up um, my setup there. I didn't do anything about it. I was like, oh, my God, I really let him charge it. I let him get away with goofy stuff at this point, and he was very confident in this stage of the game. Like, he was before, but mad, mad confident here. So I wanted to break the confidence in this game. I didn't. I just let him do it. And I saw it, too. I just froze like a deer. Oh, man, that move is tearing me up, too. Every time I try shenanigan, so good. Yep, that time, his reaction, that was perfect. 
Good damage. Ooh, just let me know. He, he's he got my number. And he did, too. I was like, ah, oh, crap. What do I do? I wanted to come back. I really felt like it could. Uh, very nice interruption. Just really, really figuring out the matchup with Hayabusa now. And I'm realizing that I'm letting him get away with too much. So not only is he figuring things out and making my own stuff harder, but I really want to round. It's like, I'm getting freaking round this game. So what do I do? I freaking get to work. And I mash buttons like a crazy person. For some reason, I knew that would work, and I have no idea why, because it's such a foolish thing. If he had just blocked, that's it. That's it. Very nice. Oh, I couldn't believe I got hit by that. I was looking for it. <laughs> yep. He didn't want to grab me. I should have just went with the launcher. I wasn't believing at my point, at that point. When I do too many throws, I know I'm not believing. I was like, oh, cool. I actually am doing all right. And then I get hit by that. I'm like, oh, no, don't mess up. And then I freaked out and I did that again. <laughs> Why? Why did I do that? I don't know, but it cost me. So it was definitely good games playing Falco. Awesome comeback and uh, really destroyed me with the Hayabusa. All in all, it was fun. You know, I went two and two, so pretty good for a little hood weekly action. And uh, playing Falco was kicking the boonies, man. So I'll keep on working for the next one. I really appreciate you guys listening to my commentary and seeing my matches from the Hoodless Weekly. You guys take care of yourself. Stay frosty and I will catch you in the next one where we will continue to get better. Alright. Peace out.